most cancer research in childhood obviously focuses on treating the cancer itself and designing new ways of, of beating the disease, of killing the tumour cells. But people survive childhood cancer to quite high rates and it's the cancer survivors that sometimes feel a bit forgotten, get forgotten because they've survived the cancer but actually the treatment itself has a long-term impact on their life. So how's the quality of life of survivors impacted? Well, quite significantly. It really impacts lots of things, not just education, but also in terms of the incidence of anxiety and depression. They're much higher in people that have experienced the, the, the trauma of childhood cancer. Some of that will be down to the treatment. Some of it will be down to the experience itself of long periods of being in hospital, of being away from home for that period of time. We've done patient um, interaction events over the last couple of years and parents of patients or the patients themselves when they're, when they're grown up talk about how, not that they feel abandoned, but they're almost, they, they should be grateful for surviving. And the impact that it has on their life um, really does, not just the pain, you know, the fear that it's going to return and that kind of stuff, it, it, it really shapes their life and every aspect of their life. And what we want to do is to try and understand the, the basic neuroscience that underpins some of those changes to see if we can identify ways that we can make it better. Cancer and pain are two things that don't discriminate. Every, you know, it affects everybody. So it's kind of fundamental stuff. It has the potential to really impact lots of people all around the world.